welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Kelsey today I'm going to be talking about some wardrobe essentials now I don't just mean like things that I think you need in your wardrobe I'm talking about pieces that have versatility you're gonna have them in your wardrobe for years to come they're probably gonna be the most worn pieces in your closet they're classic they're not like trendy pieces that you'll get over like if I was like stranded and like I had to like these are the pieces I would buy to like wear you know what I'm saying if I could strip down everything in my wardrobe like what would I have to keep or else I would die so I have some clothing items I have some shoes here I stayed away from accessories and bags because I feel like those are very personal how you accessorize your outfit is definitely what brings like your individuality to it so what I kept thinking of my personal essentials I know would not be the next girl's essentials when it came to like bags and jewelry so I'm just sticking to like clothing and shoes of like the necessities of what you're going to need so whether you're a new fashionista these are things that are great pieces to start off your new wardrobe or maybe you're already a fashionista and you just want to know maybe what you need what you don't have what you may be missing so yeah I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> of the first essential that I think that you need is a simple white blouse this is just something I mean, I would be lost if I didn't have this in my closet. I wear it so often, you can wear it so many different ways. I did a video, I think a year ago, where I took only five pieces, literally just five items, and I made like 30 outfits out of it or something like that. One of those pieces was a button-up blouse because you can literally wear it so many ways. The versatility in this is insane. This is probably, I would say easily the piece that you can wear like the most amount of different ways and you can make it look completely different in every outfit that you style it in so I definitely think this is essential and of course all these pieces nothing has like a print everything's just a very classic sleek color so you can like I said get as much use of out of them as possible you can wear this very casually very dressy that's like most of these pieces here you can wear them to almost anything you could ever possibly go to in your life the next essential that i have is i feel like no matter which youtuber you watch wardrobe essentials from will probably have this piece it's a plain white t-shirt everybody needs a plain white t-shirt i happen to really like this fit this is just the fit of t-shirt i tend to go for the most that i like this one's from urban outfitters um i bought a brand new one yesterday because if you're like me and you fake tan, your white t-shirts don't last very long, so I always have to get new ones. But I really like this one. I like that it's ribbed. I like the way it fits. It's the perfect length for me. I like the neckline. Um, I'm very big against v-necks. I hate them, so I think <laughs> this t-shirt's great for me. But yes, definitely a white t-shirt. That's like a no-brainer essential. I think the next essential for me is like a knit, just like a jumper. Am I from Europe? I wish, but a knit. So this one and the one that I'm wearing are both from H&M. So this is just like a gray, simple cable knit sweater. Then I have this beige one that I'm wearing right now. And again, you can wear these so many different ways. You can throw them on top of a dress. You can tuck them into jeans. You can wear them with dress pants. You can wear this with a denim skirt. You can even wear this in like wrapped over your shoulders in the summer, like to bring to the beach with you. Like you can always have this. Any vacation you could ever go on to any country in the world, you could pack this with you and you would need to use it. You know what I'm saying? And then the last thing, this was just sort of like a personal one. I feel like if you have a cable knit sweater, you're good to go. But I decided to throw in a cardigan just because I feel like these are sort of essential to me to have like an open sweater. I just wear things like this so often. You could definitely skip a cardigan and just stick to a knit if the cardigan isn't your style. The next thing that I have is a go-to dress. And what I mean by go-to dress is it's a dress that's like a day dress where you could wear it with sneakers and just go to the park get some coffee with your girls but you could also throw on heels and like a cute necklace and wear it to someplace fancy so i have this dress here it's just a simple white wrap dress i've actually only worn this one once but that's because my dress collection is insanely huge i got this one actually it's from zara but i got this one in italy and um it's just so pretty it's very simple so for a jacket, I think everybody needs at least one coat or jacket in their wardrobe. And for me, I decided to grab just like a long cape coat. Now, I grabbed a black one. I typically, as of recently, I guess, would wear like a camel coat. I think that those are really nice. But because I tend to wear like lighter colors all the time, I think having a black coat to contrast is better. And I also feel like it goes with more things than a camel colored coat. So. I just picked this black long coat. This is from a brand called Naked. I've had this coat for about four or five years and it's still in my wardrobe today and I still wear it just as much when I first got it and it's probably one of the most worn coats in my whole entire wardrobe. So this is definitely like one of the first things that came to mind when I was like essential, like I wear this so much. It's very classic, it goes with everything. It's not like trendy, it won't go out of style. Like I said, I've had it for five years. So this is definitely something that it's like if I had to pick like one coat 
coat, this is where my brain goes to. Now for bottoms, I only have two pairs of bottoms. I tend to be very simplistic when it comes to bottoms. I will wear like the same pair of bottoms all the time and just have like a different top every day and then call that fashion. <laughs> so for my essentials, of course, a good fitting pair of denim. This is like the white t-shirt where no matter who you're asking wardrobe essentials from, they will always have this. In their answer is a good fitting pair of denim. And of course, this can go based on your personal style of the type of denim, the color, the fit. So this pair I really like. I've been wearing these ones a lot. These are vintage. These are from London Jean. So yes, I have these pair. I really, really like them. I think, like I said, they're my best fitting jeans. So I'm like very confident in these. I'm comfortable in these. And they also are pretty comfortable as well good denim normally isn't comfortable um, but these are pretty comfortable so I do love these ones and then a pair of black pants again customizable to your personal style I have black dress pants but whether that's like a black pair of joggers maybe you're a little bit more like casual in their black leggings um, minor black dress pants I don't know what that says about me but there you go <laughs> I have these pair which are it's just like everything vintage. They fit me really well, so that's why these are my favorite. Again, I feel like dress pants. Um, hi. Okay, so they're pleated down the middle and I love the way these fit. These are an essential because you can style them dressed up or dressed casual and you, uh, most people wouldn't think like dress pants, like they have to be dressy, but I would wear this with the white t-shirt and white sneakers. Boom, casual outfit. Or you can wear them with black heels and the white button up blouse. Boom, dressy outfit. I'm going to a business meeting. I'm going somewhere fancy. I'm going to a high-end dinner. Like, you know what I'm saying? These you can wear so many different ways, and since I've gotten them, um, I've definitely worn them like 20 times or more, so this is an essential for me. Anywhere I'm going, I'd make sure to pack these with me. So now moving on to shoes. I have three like essential pairs of shoes. If I could like narrow it down to only having three shoes, which is like the hardest question because I'm definitely like a shoe addict. So this first one is actually kind of surprising because if you would have asked me this question like a year ago, I would have never said this, but I was reading a Parisian Vogue <laughs> and they said that one of the like essential wardrobe essentials was ballet flats. And I was like reading it and I was like, hmm, like I don't even own ballet flats, but Vogue is like the fashion Bible. So like, of course I have to listen to the commandments of what it's saying. So I was like, okay, so I'll go buy that ballet flats. I got these at Zara. They're very comfortable. And yeah, Vogue was right. I don't know why I wouldn't think they weren't right, but they were right. These come in so much handy. Like, do you ever have that like medium, like you want to look really nice and stylish, but like you need to be comfortable, especially like when New York City, like I'm having photo shoots walking around, but like I need to look nice ballet flats it's amazing or when I'm wearing heels and I need like I'll slip these in like my bag or like a tote or something take photos in my heels go to an event my heels dinner whatever I'm doing slip these out and change and they still go with my outfit and then I also like got really lucky and I poshmarked these Chanel ones because I was still like leery about the ballet flats thing but I wanted like these really cute ones I was like if I have to get ballet flats let's get something really cute then as I've mentioned like a million times the white sneaker I wear white sneakers every day from my instagram you probably wouldn't tell that but i wear white sneakers every single day i have way too many to count but these are probably like my most worn i was looking through and i was like which ones do i wear the most it was definitely these like my stan smiths i have the navy blue ones um and yeah i just like them they're comfortable they go with lots of things you can wear this with your go-to dress you can wear this with your jeans and the white t-shirt you can wear this with those black dress pants like every single thing that i just pointed out you could wear these with and the last pair of shoe is a black boot i've got these these are from zara i actually recently picked these up and um i love them they're currently my favorite they've got kind of like a square toe like a good mid ankle length they're heeled but not uncomfortable so i can walk around in these all day and they're just like the perfect like in between they're dressy but they're casual i can wear these with the jeans and my t-shirt or i can wear this with a dress um and they'll go with everything and these are classic black leather boots never go out of style they've been in style since they were invented so you definitely can't go wrong with having black leather boots um, and boots I feel like are good for all seasons as well like even in the summer with these like crop ankle boots You can still wear this with like a cute like mini skirt and top like that's very cute So these are a must-have for me and that is actually it for my wardrobe essentials at essentials <laughs> 
those are my like wardrobe clothing and shoes essentials so i hope this video was informative or maybe helpful for you guys if you want to see more fashion videos make sure to subscribe to my channel i post two videos a week now i'm posting tuesday vlogs and i'm doing fashion videos on friday so yeah make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow me on instagram i post outfits there if you want to see more fashion content there go ahead i don't know where i'm gonna edit it on the screen but yeah i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.